Hello everybody. Let's take a look at the newest installment of Yellowstone Season 4, titled Winning or Learning. So far, the season dealt with the Dutton's trauma of being fatally attacked by unknown parties and recovering from that process. Since all the Duttons, except for Jamie, are very strong both mentally and physically, they put things back into track quickly and moved on to the revenge plans. We saw a series of executions, handled by John, Rip, and Casey, in which they all killed some people who were believed to be involved with the attacks. However, they failed to find the real perpetrator so far. Nevertheless, John had a lead, which pointed at a man in prison, who was believed to have organized the attack upon orders of someone whose identity is still a mystery. Still, the fact that Beth insists on Jamie's involvement with the attacks perplexes everybody's mind, and now, there is not a single soul who is not suspicious over Jamie. As we have spent three whole episodes exploring these issues without reaching anywhere, in winning or learning, we finally got some answers to our questions. The episode started with Jimmy's journey toward Texas. We watched an amazing cowboy show with brilliant horses and saw Jimmy admiring the showbies. He then attempted to write a letter to Maya, which has failed immediately as he couldn't decide what to say to her after leaving her alone in Yellowstone. In the meantime, we saw Maya expressing that she will be leaving the ranch soon, as she disapproved of her crew's reluctance to be a part of the upcoming rodeo show. Her longing for Jimmy was also probably effective in this decision, as she couldn't stand the ranch without him. At the end of the episode, we saw Jimmy reaching Texas without knowing what to do next. We aren't sure what is expected of Jimmy in there, but we know that he will need all the chances he has to succeed in Texas, the capital of the Cowboys. Another heartbreak that was left from the previous episode was the relationship between Casey and Monica, as the latter expressed her hatred for him out of anger. In this episode, we saw Casey thinking over the subject heavily and taking a harsh decision for him, only to save his marriage, which we respect a lot. He went to Monica and asked her whether she truly hates him or not. Monica told him that if she hated him, she would have left the ranch already. Then Casey told her that they can move to her grandparents' house for a while to get better after the attacks. Monica's response was heartwarming and sad at the same time. It was very obvious that she was waiting for such a move from Casey for so long, and thus she was overwhelmed with emotions as her eyes were showing off her love for him once again. Tate was also happy, as he learned Casey was moving in with them as well. The news was devastating for John, as he realized all of his children were looking for a way to leave the Yellowstone order to be happy. Still, he supported Casey to save his marriage. Another important incident was revolving around Beth, who previously took an oath of vengeance against her old company, Schwartz & Mayer. Caroline, the CEO of the biggest investment company in the world, came to Beth with an offer. She said that they want to land in Yellowstone, which Beth opposed drastically. She told Caroline that when John dies, they can come to her and have an agreement, but as long as he lives, she will pursue his dreams for the ranch. Then, Caroline switched positions, saying that she wants Beth to work for them as she can be useful in taking over Montana and turning it into a new hub for the investments. Beth questions the offer, letting her know that she wouldn't do anything against the interests of the Yellowstone. In response, Caroline says that she doesn't have to as long as she finds better lands for the company to take over. Beth says that she would accept the offer only if the company sells its share in Schwartz and Mayer to her. The offer is obviously over the top, but Caroline doesn't refuse it, despite not accepting it either. After Beth's leaving, she says that Beth can be a great asset for the company, signaling that she is ready to give Beth whatever she wants, meaning that Beth will soon take her revenge on her old boss. All of these were highlights of this episode. However, perhaps the most important scene was Casey's visit to Jamie. It was obvious that both parties were very nervous, but still happy to see each other after all this time. The brotherly love could be felt through the screen. Casey questioned Jamie for not visiting them when in hospital. In response, Jamie said that he is the reason why they are not being interrogated for their murders. Then, Casey told him that he should talk to John. Jamie, on the other hand, expressed that he thinks John hates him because of Beth's pointless accusations. Casey gives Jamie the file of the man in prison who organized the attacks and tells him they need his assistance in tracking down his contacts. Jamie accepts the offer without hesitation, especially after hearing that John specifically asked for his help. Before John had told Casey that if Jamie hesitates or refuses to help them, he is the one who is behind the attacks. By acting this way, Jamie proved that he is truly innocent, unlike Beth's belief. And yet, his biological father, Garrett, whom he trusts with his full heart, 
might not be as innocent as he is. At the end of the episode, Jamie receives the prison records and finds out that Garrett was once in the same prison as the man who organized the attacks. This news shocks him, as he turned his face wholly to Garrett, without questioning his intentions. This means that, next episode, we will watch Jamie having a serious face-off with Garrett. There is a high chance that his questioning of the old man will not end up well, as Jamie will be heavily disappointed by him. What do you think of winning or learning? Did you enjoy the episode? Do you believe in Jamie's innocence? Let us know what you think in the comments below, and don't forget to like, subscribe and share the video. Thank you for watching, see you soon.